Wake up, Danny. We're vlogging today. No. Danny needs a bit more sleep, so I'm going to call this the transparency vlog, and you guys are going to only have me for a bit. I'm going to clean the kitchen and then talk to you guys about what's going on. As you guys have seen, Tummy Tuesday has not made a comeback. Last time we did Tummy Tuesday, I walked off the camera crying. Some might call me a little bitch. Maybe, yeah. You guys might not see it, but like auto mod catches it and mod catches it. But every time like we're cooking around food, they're like, oh yeah, we could tell Allie loves food or like, wow, she's bigger than the house. And that shit hurts my feelings. To say it doesn't would be an absolute lie. So I walked up the camera literally crying because I just couldn't handle it. I have gained about 60 pounds in like five months. No, I'm not pregnant, okay. Turns out I have a health issue. That was affecting my weight. I work out every day, you know, I eat good and nothing was happening. I will later disclose that health issue to you guys when I feel comfortable, but I'm now on the right medication. I'm on track to losing weight. I lost 20 pounds already. I'm starting to feel confident in my own skin again. And then those comments will hurt less and less once I start feeling comfortable with myself. Cause like there was a point where I was looking in the mirror and I literally just like, it's, I'm still working on it, but I looked there and I was like, I hate myself. There's nothing worse than hating yourself and not feeling confident in yourself. So those comments that people are saying hurt 10 times worse. So I'm working on it. And like, honestly, that's the real reason why I don't want to do Tummy Tuesday. I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And I'm just not, I can't handle the hate right now. I can't. That's the honest truth. Danny is up and I caught him eating one of these control bars and we were supposed to do a food review on them. So now we gotta... No, it's fine because there's another one with fully closed. So the chocolate chip cookie dough, it's good. I do think it should have been in the fridge because there is like melted chocolate, right? I think it's very good, honestly. It's one of the best food I've had. Really? No. I don't like chocolate, so it's like kind of a waste for me to try, but... A cookie dough. Extra? No. Food texture person. Oh, it tastes like dessert. Mm. That's actually really good. No. Meal on the go bar, magic charms. So I'm assuming it's like lucky charms. I really like these like a lot to the point where I wouldn't travel without them so I could have a meal like when, when I'm gone. traveling. Yeah. And then they sent us these little packages. I do like the packaging. It's small, like easy, can fit in my bag. Definitely like the chocolate chip cookie dough more. I like that more. Hmm. I give that a nine out of 10. Eight point. Seven. This is my official current setup and I'm having Danny rearrange it. I'm trying to make this whole thing cozy and the curved monitor makes me dizzy. He doesn't believe me. It doesn't make sense. It's like one of the best monitors that I own. She doesn't want it. She wants a HyperX one. Yeah, I do. So we get her a HyperX one. And I'm very grateful for it. Did Allie say she wanted her PC moved to the other side? Yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure that all the space is usable because I feel like there's an empty gap there and that could be filled with the PC, but that could be usable if we move the monitors over to the left. Did I not make sense? Because all you're doing is you're just flopping. The PC went from here and it's going over there and then that monitor is going here. You're still occupying the same amount of space. It's just different. They're just swapping the two. Oh. Like you're not gaining space by doing this. Oh, okay. Then I guess you can keep the PC there. <sighs> It is obviously not needed in this situation. It's not needed, but good for the one guy that's gonna comment, you know what I mean? This is the HyperX Armada monitor. It is 27 inches, high refresh rate of 165 hertz, one millisecond response time, an ergonomic design, and 1440p. It comes with a mount inside of it, and the mount is definitely good quality. It's like pretty heavy and super adjustable where you can twist and move it. I will make sure that I will show you guys with the monitor on, but it is right here. Come over here and check out what's inside the box. The different compartments. Can't say I know what any of this means. This is usually Danny's job, but we got a cable. Looks like an HDMI and then the power cord. Danny likes this because it doesn't have a huge box on it. So it's easy for cable management. This is what turns the monitor on. And then the monitor is in here somewhere, I'm assuming under the bottom. So let's continue to unbox and Danny and I are gonna switch positions. Oh wait, if you use code Danny at HyperX, you could save $100 on this monitor. Okay. What I'm doing is literally going like this, All right? And then when this is now up, I'm oh. gonna put this one on. <laughs> well, see, so you should have explained that, Danny. Yeah. This actually comes out. I thought that came out like that. Yeah. 
using the HyperX mount. It's gonna clip into here. It's super simple. Show them how it's done. So, all you do is put it in and clicks in. And then you're all secure. You can rotate it, move it around. Cable management's still looking mighty fire. Decided to keep it this way because it just made more sense. For lunch, I'm making some chicken tendies. We're using panko seasoned breadcrumbs. I did flour, egg, and then into the breadcrumbs. This oil is really hot. I can smell it. I should, I will just do it. Okay, those are the chicken tendies. I don't know why, I've been dying to have barbecue sauce. And then we got Asian zing and sweet chili. All right, party people, we're gonna eat. Cheers. We are gonna show you some coffee in a little bit. Bravelli coffee machine, we picked it up at Bed Bath & Beyond. Breville. Oh, Breville? Breville. Breville? Holy shit, Danny, come on. Breville. Breville. You said it different too the last three times. Look at that. An open box, as is from Bed Bath & Beyond because they're closing down. We got it for 600 and change. The only problem is, when I've been doing it lately, it tastes very bad. It tastes like shit. It tastes really bad. What I'm doing wrong here, I watch a bunch of videos, but I'm gonna run you through what I do and I'm gonna taste it. Zeroed out the scale, I'm going 18 grams of beans. So I so then now, I open up the top. There's no more beans in there. I just pour these beans in the grinder. Use this to kind of like get all the clumps. Squeeze it down. Looks beautiful. I think it's at a good height. I get the nice little filter. Put the filter in. Put the bad boy in there. Tighten it. I click brew. Right? I think it looks pretty good. I'll test it first with my finger. What do you mean? Just for you. Testing it. Why? Oh my god. Tastes like I acid. didn't have you. Oh shit. God damn it. Your turn. That's why I dip my finger. I think that looks good, right? Like I think it's doing its Maybe it's the level of grind. Like how thick? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw someone say something along the lines of that. I can make it this coffee with the same beans in my other machine that does it automatically and it tastes completely different. I can taste all the flavors in the beans. It's great, it's like, per it's perfect. But now I don't know what I'm doing wrong on this machine. We made the grind size to the half setting. I don't know. I think it's coming a lot more out of one hole. That, I think that looks yeah, better. Yeah, like it's too, I don't know. Well, does it smell weird now too? <laughs> it smells very similar to the last one. Ew, what the fuck? Ew. Come on over. Come on over. The heat clears the system out. Hit the coffee button. Click the coffee button again. Tastes great. I don't know what we're doing wrong. Please let me know if I'm doing something wrong and I will change it, but if it doesn't get better, I'm going to return it. Well, we didn't do too much today. It was a little bit of an off day for us, mm -hmm. but that's kind of how the lazy day went. Yep. Have one good coffee today. Yeah, that was nasty. Yeah, that was nasty. See you next time. See you.